Hey guys, it's Karen here from Art and Cove, and today I'm really, really excited to talk a little bit about what we did this past weekend. I went camping with some friends in Salt Point, California. It's a state park a couple hours north of San Francisco, and it was just exactly what we all needed, you know, just some quality time with friends, safe outdoors, we're all vaccinated, we got two camping spots right next to each other, so we had plenty of room to spread out, build our tents, have a campfire, and it was just so fun. So we drove up on Friday afternoon after work, and then we came back after staying two nights, and then drove back on Sunday afternoon. It was so fun to just cook outdoors. For some reason, food always tastes so good when you cook outdoors. And then we had some s'mores. I brought some babkas or like these twist buns so we like grilled them on the fire it was so cool the next morning we went out to explore a little bit of course This camping spot is right by the beach, so we went out for a little hike on Saturday and we went to see the tide pools. The tide pools are so fun. We saw sea stars, uh, sea stars? Starfish. <laughs> We saw starfish, sea anemone, sea urchin, a bunch of hermit crabs and little crabs, and even little fish. So it was really, really great fun. <laughs> Went back to our camping spot, had some lunch, just hung out, built a fire. Oh, one really funny thing is that at night when we went there, we were just like hanging out by the fire and like making s'mores, watching the campfire as you do. And we heard one of our neighbor campsites, a kid is just shouting like, look at that, look at that. And we were like, oh, what? the kid probably found something cool, but probably not a big deal. And then their parent or, you know, adult nearby was like, oh yeah, look at that. I wonder what that is. So we were intrigued at this point. Just came and broke up my <laughs> We were super intrigued at this point, so we ran out to where there was a little bit more of a clearing, where there wasn't as many trees blocking our view of the sky, and it was just like light after light after light after light, and we were like, what's going on? Like, they were too slow to be shooting stars, too uniform to be shooting stars. It was like not a plane, um, probably they kind of looked like satellites, but there was like so many of them. And then someone came by and told us, oh yeah, that's Starlink. We saw that a couple weeks ago, you know? So it wasn't an alien evasion. It was just like Elon Musk's satellites in the sky. Anyways, for this video, I want to show you guys what I packed for our little day hike. And the bag that I brought with me is, of course, the Carmel backpack. I really like bringing the Carmel for hiking for a couple of reasons. Obviously, it's waterproof, which is ideal when you're out in the elements and you don't really know what's gonna happen other than what the weather report says. Um, it probably wasn't gonna rain, but we were by the beach, so you know, maybe it might fall in the water and I don't want my stuff to get wet. It also fits water bottles really well. In fact, at some point there were three water bottles in here, but that's getting a little bit full. And then it has plenty of room to carry any camera gear, extra snacks, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's just the perfect backpack for this occasion. The other backpack I was considering was the Dolores backpack, but it is quite a bit bigger. I think if I was going on a really long hike, you know, like a five hour plus hike, I might go with the Dolores just to have extra snacks, a little meal to bring along with me. Um, but in this case, we were only gone for a couple hours and I only needed one pack of snacks. So let's go ahead and show you what's in my bag. 
By the way, I'm sorry if my nails are real bad. I did cut them short and um, painted them because I was going camping. I didn't want long nails. But um, I'm so impatient with nail polish that it immediately got disfigured. So, you know, we're going camping. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and look in the main compartment first. So first of all, I have a water bottle with me. Obviously, you want to stay hydrated. This backpack will fit um, pretty much this is the max height you can fit. It is 710 milliliters or 24 ounces. You can fit bottles that are shorter but wider and it will fit a you know standard Kirkland signature arrowhead crystal geyser type of water bottle in the backpack as well. I also have a couple different cameras because I am obsessed with taking photos. So here I have a Osmo camera. I really like this camera. It has a little gimbal so that um, when you're taking videos and you're moving around it sort of makes it less shaky cam if you get what I mean. Um, it's also really small and compact so I find it really easy to use. Next camera I have is a little Instax. Um, this is the Neo Classic Instax Mini. So um, I, right before the pandemic, I really wanted to start taking more Instax photos. I was like, I already have this camera. It would be great to have a lot of cute photos of my friends and myself. And I used it on one trip at the beginning of 2019. 2020. You can see it in my Hawaii packing video. Um, I got a lot of really cute pictures from that trip and then I didn't go anywhere so I felt like I really was trying to make up ground and take some more photos and the camping trip was perfect for that. Another item just in the middle of the bag is some necessities for being outdoors. In a very sturdy Ziploc bag, we have a bug spray. I am so prone to mosquitoes. Um, they just gravitate towards me. It's a genetic thing. I also get huge like welts when I get bitten, so I do everything in my power to keep them away. And thankfully this trip, I did either I did a really good job of keeping them away or um, maybe they were just not interested in me anymore, but um, yeah, I brought this bug spray just in case. We also had um, citronella candles for the campsite when we're just like cooking dinner or hanging out by the campfire, so that helped as well. Also in this bag, I have some sunscreen because sun protection is important. All right, moving on to the other compartments. On this side, we have two wall pockets here, right? On this side here, I just have some sunglasses. It now has a little case, even though it's already pretty scratched up. On the other side of the wall pocket, I have a hair tie. Um, just handy in general. There is a little D-ring to attach your keys in here. I don't have it in there right now because um, I didn't take it camping with me. I just put it in my other bags but it is there for you. On the back side of the wall, we have a zipper pocket. And here we have a little mini first aid kit. Um, let's take a look what's in here. So in here, I pretty much put all of like the basic necessities. I have some band-aids, some antibiotic, some motion sickness pills, ibuprofen, Benadryl, anti-diarrhea, um, Pepsid, all of that good stuff. I also have some of these. These are pretty good. These are kind of um, blister cushiony band-aids. They're really, really good if you are ever walking in uncomfortable shoes. So I like to keep these around just in case to protect your feet. In this bag, I also have another little bag here. Uh, normally I just toss these in the bag and I don't think that much about it, but because I do have bug spray in my bag, I was a little extra careful about putting things in protective bags. 
So here I have a little mixture of things. I have some eye drops for contacts, some hand cream. I also have some breath mints, some cough drops, as well as lactate because I am lactose intolerant. So some good stuff in here. Just things I reach for often that make my life better. Oh, also in the zipper pocket, I have a little Bite MD. I don't know if I think this does too much, but I saw it in the shop and I wanted to try it. Basically, this is like a little pen where if you get a bug bite, you can just like dab some medicine on it and it's supposed to help alleviate some of the itchiness. It sort of numbs it a little bit and it's an antiseptic. Okay, that's it for the main compartment. Now we have this compartment here. As you can see, I really stuffed it in there. This um, has a little built-in wallet in the back with some bills and um, cards. I did bring cash because on the way back down on Sunday, we did buy oysters from Tamales Bay and they're a cash only operation. Um, so we brought some extra cash just in case so we could buy some fresh raw oysters, the best. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. It's also really fun to shuck oysters. So we had a really great lunch on Sunday um, on the way back to San Francisco. I also have here an external battery pack, some tissues because, you know, just handy. I also have some earbuds in here and some hand sanitizer. I forgot to mention, there is a hat on the back of my bag. This part just comes detached and then you can add this. You can put, you know, any little thing, if you have like a packable jacket with a loop, you can put it on there. So if there's ever any like large things that doesn't fit in your backpack, you can sort of like pick it onto things pretty easily. By the way, this is not the handle that comes with this bag. It's huge in comparison. The one that comes with this bag is much more in proportion with this bag. I was just in a hurry when I was packing and I grabbed the first one I found. Also, this bag is like, I want to say like three years old now because this is like the original Carmel bag that I've had. So if it looks a little rough, please excuse it. I've taken it on multiple trips, multiple camping trips. I should probably wash it because I didn't wash it when I came back. So it looks a little rough. That is why it's served me really well though. So that's it. That's all the things in my Carmel backpack and throughout the trip, it does change what I put in here, you know, depending on what we're doing. If I'm just like going to the general store versus going to the tide pools. When we went to the tide pools, I did pack an extra bag of cookies, some beef jerky and kombucha. And, you know, everyone just took a extra snack with them so we could all share when we got to a nice little picnic bench. That's sort of the beauty of traveling with friends. You could like split up the load. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're planning your own trip, where are you going? We'd love to hear about it. Or if you're interested in Salt Point, I hope you guys will check it out because it was really cool. By the way, our new bags, which is currently on pre-order on Indiegogo, are officially ending in like just a few days. So I hope you guys will check it out. We just announced that we have brand new colorways uh, for all four bags. So it's super exciting. I hope you guys will check it out. I'm so excited that we're able to do more than one color. So thank you guys for all of your feedback. Everyone who did our color survey, it's because of you guys that we're able to sort of push for this. We're really excited to just start production and you know, get the ball rolling so that we can get all of these bags fulfilled out to you guys very soon. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. 
Hope you have a good week and a good weekend and a good month and a good year. Um, I hope you guys are taking care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!